Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Diva's, Diva's Getting, Getting Raw, episode, episode number, number 81. 81. We're on a boat and we're giving you our highlights for this week's oh, yeah. Monday Night Raw. Raw. Exactly. And uh, Raw was crazy. It started off with CM Punk and Jerry the King Lawler. They, they've been feuding. They've been feuding and uh, Jerry the King Lawler wants an apology. This time he wants an apology from... CM, CM Punk, Punk yeah. and CM Punk, he's like, I'm not giving you an apology. Uh, what I said last week was right, and uh, it justifies what I've been saying. So I'm the champ. Uh, I'm the champ, and I don't really need. I don't really need this. He goes, no, yeah. I don't. I don't need to apologize to you. He goes, in fact, you know, maybe we can settle this in the ring. Do you have fight in you? Uh oh, I, I don't know. I didn't really like this part, though. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, I mean, like, eventually, Jerry the King Waller was like, all right, you know, let's have a match. So, but I w it was actually the uh, WWE Universe, Twitter Universe yeah, choosing. Yeah, and it wound up to be a, a steel, steel cage. Yeah, steel cage match. Steel cage match. And, uh, but that happened, yeah, uh, that happened that at, the as event. the main event. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, Another highlight. Triple H, Triple H. Comes H. Out with an oh yeah, and uh, he shocks he shocks the WWE he universe, does. basically saying that he's retiring. He retired. He's retiring, and um, you know uh, he f he felt that you know he did uh, he did what he had to do. And also that he let us down, you know, at the last pay per view. He did, yeah, Being because his by Brock. yeah his loss to Brock. But to be honest, I really don't think he really retired. You know, come on, he's married to the boss's daughter. Yeah. When you're married to the boss's daughter, you're always you're working you're twenty four seven. Of the WWE, it's in his blood. It's in his blood. So he, I, I like to say he retired. Put it. He'll be quote. back. He'll be He'll back. He'll be back. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see about uh, next week. Yeah. Um, There's a couple of good matches. A couple of good matches. Um, I was a little shocked about the. Uh, the swagger, yeah, I'm yeah. at the swagger and Ryback uh, match, and um, I don't know why I have swagger lose to Ryback. Yeah, I guess they're building up. He's a beast. He's building. He's a beast, and Ryback, you know, yeah. I think uh, Punk should put Ryback in his place, show him who's the champ instead of going after Lawler. To uh, totally, <laughs> I agree. I know. Also, there's a match Miz and Cena. Miz and Cena, I thought that was pretty good, and Miz was a little shocked. Uh, you know, um, I thought that was. I thought it was a pretty good match actually, and Miz would a was actually a little shocked. Yeah. Also, Vicky Guerrero had a bone to pick with AJ. Oh yeah, the Raw general Dolph, manager. Yeah. Oh yeah, totally, and um. You you know, she's saying Vicky is running her mouth saying, oh, it's unfair with uh, what AJ, uh, how AJ is running things. Yeah. And it, um, AJ comes out, you know, smiles at Vicky and then totally like attacks Vicky. <laughs> Uh, not really very GM of her. No. So we'll see what happens. And Vicky just ran out of the ring screaming. Yeah, imagine if uh, Dolph would have lost it last week and lost his Money in the Bank title shot. Totally. She would have been crazy. She would have been I mean, crazy. He won and she was still crazy. So yeah, I'm so okay. sad about that, that Jericho, yeah, Jericho lost. Was, so. uh, I don't know. We'll see. He'll definitely come back. I know he will. Yeah, he's doing his tour thing, you know. What, what I thought it was funny was Daniel Bryan and his anger management. Yes. <laughs> that was really, really funny because he was like, I don't have anger management. And, and then this little kid comes in with a goat face mask <laughs> yep. with a little goat face he's like no that's not me and then the guy is like um no my son is in a school play yes <laughs> exactly he's like and no and he also had a match too yes versus yeah. truth exactly he versed our, our truth and it just he gets distracted i mean he does uh, by kane yeah Kane, no, and Kane is still like stalking him because Kane showed up to uh -huh. anger management, and uh, the therapist, the anger management therapist, was uh, ex Kane. You know, what are you like? Like, what, um, you know, what anger issues do, do you have? So, what I liked was that Kane, in a nutshell, summed up his entire character in the WWE from start to finish and he even mentioned the whole Katie Vick thing I was like no way mm -hmm. oh man and I thought that was really cool I like that but still Kane has a bone to pick with Daniel Bryan yeah still not done with that also Ryder and Atunga he decides to interfere in that match Ryder so. and Atunga yeah exactly and uh but he but uh Kane he was commentating and he totally choke slammed Otunga it looks like he was gonna choke slam Ryder but he uh he hesitated in the Got Otunga. So. Got Otunga. It's and, crazy, crazy roll. And the main event was the steel cage mm -hmm. for um, yeah, uh, Punk and Lawler. Punk demolished 
Well, I mean, seriously, still that, yeah, that that's match it. was on Cole for him. Yeah, I didn't like it. <laughs> and first, like, an 80-year-old man. Please, was... leave the announcers alone. Yeah. I mean, I respect Lawler, but please get off it. You know, yeah. I don't like it. Um, so, I don't, uh, yeah, that, so that, that included, true. yeah, that concluded so, Raw. let's give out shout-outs. I, I want to give a shout-out to Cassie for yes. filming this at her Jersey Shore house. <laughs> and I also want to give a shout-out to Juan. You know, thank you so much for coming into New York to meet with us. That was uh, that was awesome. And watching the Summer Slam pay-per-view with us. True that. It was great meeting you. Yes. All right. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.